What's wrong with the Apostle Paul? Paul teaches to break Yahweh's commandments. Paul, Saul of Tyrus, contradicts Yahushua's teachings. Matthew 5 and 17, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one title shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Saved by faith without works is Paul's doctrine, and Yahushua's doctrine is saved by faith with works. I want you to see this. Paul's writing, and notice Ephesians 2 and 8, For by grace ye are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So this is a good example of Paul's doctrine, and he continues with more doctrine just like this. Saved without um, works just by faith. Romans 3 and 27, where is boasting then? It is excluded by what law? Of works? Nay, by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. So you see how much he opposes the law? Galatians 2 and 16, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Now you have seen many examples of Paul doctrines. Now let's take a look at Yahushua and his disciples doctrine. Totally different. Faith with works. Matthew 5 and 28. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice, and shall come forth, and they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the rec resurrection of damnation. Matthews 25, 31-46 speaks of works for salvation. James 2, Even so, faith, if it hath not work, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. And thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was his faith made perfect? Matthew 19 and 16 And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do, that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Matthew 7 and 21, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. More of Paul's teachings to break Yahweh's commandments. There's plenty of it, but you know, this is a short video. You have to work with me. You're going to have to do some research on your own. Colossians 2 and 16. Let no man judge you in meat or in drink or respect of a holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days. Romans 14 and 5. One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regarded the day regardeth it unto the Lord, and he that regardeth not the day to the Lord, he doeth not regard it. It's all the same to Paul. Well, those are some of Paul's famous scriptures on how to break the Heavenly Father's Sabbath day. 
and high holy day, new moon. Did he convince you to break the Heavenly Father's commandments? Is the Sabbath day one of the least commandments that you think is okay to break? Because if it is, you won't be called into the, into the kingdom of heaven. Think about it. Now let's take a look at some of Paul's scriptures on how to not be circumcised, how to not get circumcised and keep the Heavenly Father's commandments. 1 Corinthians 7 and 18, If any man called being circumcised, let him become uncircumcised. Is any called in uncircumcision? Let him not be circumcised. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing, but the keep keeping of the commandments of Yahweh. So you see, to Paul, being circumcised means absolutely nothing, because to him, you don't have to keep the Heavenly Father's commandments. All you need is faith, according to Paul, of course. Galatians 5 and 1, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and not entangled again um, with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you, that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. Galatians 5 and 6, For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision anything, but faith which worketh by love. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ be... Christ is become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. Not only does Paul try to convince you not to be circumcised, he also adds that if you try to keep the Heavenly Father's commandments, you're not going to have any grace. That's just ridiculous. Faith with works. That's the salvation, not faith without works. Galatians 6 and 12. As many as desire to make a fair show in the flesh, they constrain you to be circumcised. Only least they should suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. For neither they themselves who are circumcised keep the law, but desire to have you circumcised, that they may glory in your flesh. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. Let's read what it means to be circumcised. Genesis 17 and 10. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep between me and you, and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. Paul believes Christ died in vain if you keep the commandments. Galatians 2 and 21. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain.